What's up? Honor Hammer 26 here. I'm here to give you my Shimmer Volume 28 review. I know I said I was going to do this yesterday, but I had work, and I was going to do it after work, but I got so tired. It was a, it was a good day at work, but it just let me so tired. We were so busy, and I was just tired. I'm sorry, you guys. I couldn't do it. I would have been, like, dead, like, and be like, I'm reviewing, which I'm glad I'm actually not doing that. I'm doing this. So... All right, but the thing I told you at the end of the video, I would be, uh, I something came in the mail that I was so excited about. Uh, I know Jake, Double Cross King, messaged me and said, uh, you're going to end up in Phoenix like Chase for Glory Bonner. No, no. I wish, but no. I'm still here in Maryland, as you guys can tell. Um, the thing that came in the mail, my Extreme Rules tickets. Fancy. December of 2001, finally going to a WWE event, April 25th, 2010. Could not, cannot wait. And I'm going to do the Ring of Honor show less than like 13 days later, first row. Can't wait. Even though they announced Amazing Kong and Del Rey and the Machine Guns from NYC, don't know why they're not being announced for Manassas. They deserve to fucking be. All right, let's get to this show. The yeah, point of this review. Overall, this show, every match that was given time reached the four star level. Up to that point in the show, there was not really, they got over 10 minutes of time, and then you had two great matches, one that was amazing, back to back. So basically, this is a two-match show, but it's a great show. A lot of Ring of Honor shows have done this, like Final Battle of Five, even though those matches were better. I guess Violent Tendencies, you could say that, from Detroit. I've done that are two good examples of that. So, uh, not that these type of shows are bad, but it's a two-match show. You basically can skip everything on the show until you get to... Uh, the last two matches. Alright, let's start off with Ariel, the Portuguese Prince versus Malaya Hosaka. This match was okay, just a little bit of an opener here, nothing all that special. Um, first time saying Malaya Hosaka, and she's she's not a bad worker, I mean, she she has a gimmick where her tag team partner is injured, so she brings her partner on a stick, Lexi Fife on a stick. So, uh, that kind of took over the match. It was a, little, a good comedy match as well, had comedy elements. I liked a lot, Star and Three Quarter. Then we got Kimberly Cash versus Melanie Cruz. TNA signed Melanie Cruz. This girl looked so impressive. It was a squash, but she looked so freaking impressive. Wow. Reminded me of a, a quicker version of Cheerleader Melissa. A little bit smaller, quicker version. So she's a little bit of speed moves compared to Cheerleader Melissa. Or, as you know, we're in TNA. Alyssa Flash, Risha Saeed. Um, and the only reason this is not going to star by itself is because Kimberly Cash is really cute. Uh, star and a quarter. Then we got Ashley Lane, what's her name in TNA, uh, Madison Rain, and Nevea, who's been on ROH on HNF before, versus Casey Diamond and Sassy Steffi. Wasn't all that impressed with Casey Diamond or Sassy Steffi, but Ashley Lane and Nevea, Ashley Lane is good as a face, I know. And Nevea, they're both very, very good. It's two stars, not much. Then we got Nikki Rocks, Roxy Laveau in TNA, versus Wesna Busick. I wish they would got more time. Nikki Rocks is so over. Wesna Music is just a very, very good performer. If they had gotten 20 minutes, I, could, I don't see why this could have re couldn't have reached the three and a half star level at least. Um, just they aren't all around great women, but I enjoy watching both them wrestle. So two and a half. Then we got Rachel Summerlin versus Daphne. This is a pure storyline match. It went barely a minute, maybe, because Daphne is now was using was using her pre. Stevie Richards involvement gimmick in TNA and now she was kind of going into that gimmick kind of turning into the crazy Daphne instead of, it was just, instead of just being the regular Daphne so that turned her heel and she turned heel on Rachel, Rachel Summerlin at volume 27 so this was just a, basically a storyline match setting that storyline up Daphne got intentionally disqualified and then attacked Rachel Summerlin and it made good sense and Daphne looked really strong here so no rating really can't rate it then we got Jason McKay and Tennille Versus the international home wrecking crew of Rain and Jetta with Lacey. Lacey, first time I had seen her since Rising Above 2008. She looks good. Um, just another solid tag team match. Nothing really wrong with it. Uh, but I thought Tennille was a little underwhelming. I mean, I like Jesse McKay a lot. She's been on Chikara shows. Uh, Rain and Jetta are a very good tag team. Uh, and Lacey as a manager does very much work. I know she's not wrestling anymore. But as a manager, she works. So, uh, two and a half stars. Then we got Cheerleader Melissa, Alyssa Flash, Rice Aid in TNA versus Kelly Skater. Kelly Skater is very, very impressive. Cheerleader Melissa is very, very impressive. This is kind of squashy, but it was one of the most entertaining squashes I had ever seen in my life. Um, it was kind of a glorified squash. Uh, but if these two women wasn't a squash, they could go out there and put on a four star match. I know it because Melissa's 
so underrated. She's such a good performer. Kelly Skater, so I saw a lot from her in this match. Just She impressed me a lot. Two stars, though. I expected it to be a lot better. Then we got Mercedes Martinez, who's a little overrated, I think, honestly, but she's still a good performer. Versus Cat Power. For somebody I'd ever seen Cat Power. Um, she didn't impress me all that much, but Mercedes Martinez looked good here. She's one of the better brawlers of women on the on the uh, Shimmer roster, so definitely good to see her here. She looked way better than she did at Evolve, I'll say that much. But in Evolve, she was a complete squash, but it wasn't even that good of a squash. Um, well, I mean, Nia, Nia, who I had never heard of and probably will never hear from again, was her opponent, so I guess that didn't help. But anyway, um... I guess, yeah, two and a half. It was still entertaining, though. Then we got Allison Danger versus Nicole Matthews. The match is set up as Nicole Matthews is tag. She's one half of the Simmer Tag Team Champions. Her tag team partner, Portia Perez, is out with H1N1, apparently. So it's an Allison Day And post match, the previous taping, they really didn't show, say what taping. Uh, Portia Perez um, injured Allison Danger. So Allison Danger is returning to face Nicole Matthews because Portia Perez is not there. This is a very, very good match. I forgot how good Allison Danger was. Allison Danger is very, very good in the ring. Um, Nicole Matthews, I didn't like all that much. Nicole Matthews is just okay. She looked a little better than she did in her appearance at uh, Clash of the Contenders from Ring of Honor. But she still looked. Didn't look all that great. Star and a quarter with a screw job finish. So. Okay, now. The reason, pretty much the reason I bought this DVD and I did this review. Ayako Hamada, Hamada and TNA versus Sarah Del Rey. I heard this is the best match in Shimmer history from the lab reports. This, I'm going to throw this statement out there. This is the best match, the best women's match that an American promotion has ever done. I think I can make that statement for this match. This match, if you've never seen a women's match, that you can say is a classic. You obviously don't watch Joshi. But, an American match, you need to buy this DVD. It's perfectly booked. Great in-ring wrestling. I just, I, I could not believe it. Maybe this rating is a little higher than it should be because I just went through all the, where the star rating is highest is two and a half. But, but none of the matches were bad. They were all entertaining. But, Oh my god, I loved this match to no end. I could not see a problem with it. Best brawling I've ever seen from women in America, definitely. Maybe overall. Oh, Tomata looked so great. Del Rey looked awesome. It made sense. Del Rey plays a great heel. I don't know why she doesn't get more time in Ring of Honor. So I don't want to ruin any a lot of it, but just... Oh. Man, there's a mid-match segment that makes total sense and actually adds to the match. Just, wow. Four and a half for a women's match. And it's sad because a lot of people actually probably will not see this match. If you can somehow see this match, you got to freaking see it. If someone's on YouTube, I'm not gonna, I don't know if anyone's posted it or not, but you have to see this match. It's that fucking great. That's probably the first time I've just rained on a match where I'm speechless, probably since Davey Kentham. Anyway... Uh, and that was like my third video. So that, that, that entails how good this match is for women, especially for women in America, too. Then we got main event, Mischief versus Amazing Kong versus Lou Fisto, Shimmer title three-way. Set up as Amazing Kong and Lou Fisto on volume 27 was a uh, number one contenders match and, and a double countout. So they both get a title shot here. Lou Fisto first one eliminated. Uh, basically, it was Amazing Kong and Mischief going at it for majority of the match. This was given a lot of time, and it worked. Amazing Kong... Looked great here. Lufista looked good. Mischief looked very, very good. Um, just Amazing Kong and Mischief just have amazing chemistry. For, from the match from Volume 9, you can tell, which is on uh, ROH Battle of the Best. Is it Battle of the Best? First Tokyo show from the second trip. Yeah, Battle of the Best. Um, it's on that DVD, and it was this match is even better than that uh, in, some, in, in some aspects. So... Four stars there. Overall, I'm giving the show an 8.0. I know there's a lot before you get to the two main events, but it's like two hours and 20 minutes long, and the two matches are absolutely worth it. 8.0. Tomorrow night, WrestleMania 26 review. I'll see you guys later.